have 4.8 choosing a quadratic model and using it to make a prediction. It says the data points show the distance y in meters required to stop a train traveling at speed x in kilometers per hour. Each figure has the same data points, however, uh, and I tried to make them have the same, but you could tell they're a little off. Um, however, each figure has a different curve fitting the data. The equation for each curve is also shown. And so this one is figure two. And this one is figure three. And so I tried my best to make all the points be the same, but I definitely showed the three different curves that they had there and then their equations. Now it says which curve fits the data best. And so this one definitely doesn't fit it because you've got these positive values here or these high values here, but low Y values there. So this one's not it. Um, this one, the same thing. You've got all these values that are way up here, but here the values are down here. Here you've got them up here, and the actual values are down here. This one, they're all pretty much really, really close to this figure. So figure two is going to be the best fitting curve here, okay? And it says, use the equation of the best fitting curve from part A to predict the distance required to stop the train when it is traveling 40 kilometers per hour. Give an exact answer, not a rounded approximation. So basically all that you're doing is plugging in that value that they've given you. So 40 squared into the equation given for figure two. And so if I plug that in my calculator, 0 0.28 times 14 squared plus 1.87 times 40, I end up with the value 129.68. And they don't want me to round it, they want me to give them this exact answer. Now remember, the Y value is in meters. So this is 129.68 meters. And that is all you need to do for this problem. So find the image that where the, where the, the curve looks like it's better aligned with all of your data points and then use that equation to plug in the value they give you to find out the response for part B.